<laughs> so a few people have asked me, what does my what does the screening of the movie have to do with the Black Lives Matter movement? And I could have chosen a film that was more of like a documentary or something more uh, something like a documentary that showed uh, people living in dire straits. But I thought it'd be really refreshing to choose a really popular entertainment film like Attack the Block, which. Uh, puts people that are not white uh, as the main protagonists of the film, that are the heroes of the film, in a very positive, uh, non-caricature way. And uh, it'll be a good time. And I think that will draw people out to the theater in it for, for different reasons than just uh, staging a doc uh, screening a documentary that is hard-hitting and difficult to difficult to process. I think a popular film like Attack the Block is, is beneficial because of its positive uh, complex representation of, of minorities and it's the fact that it's fun is it actually will get people more people out of the theater I think and then after the screening we'll have a discussion about my experiences going to uh, the socialism conference in Chicago and I'm still working on trying to get represent representatives from the various student groups that might want to also uh, provide information about their events. So I'm kind of using this opportunity and the screening to have other members of the community start to promote their um, events as well. I started busking as a form of like trial by fire practice, figuring that like, you know, if I'm out in front of people, because you can practice at home and be very passive about it. Um, and, you know, kind of do whatever. But when you're out here in public and practicing, like, you want to sound good. So I, I came out here as a forward practicing and I just started leaving my guitar case out. At first I didn't even bring my guitar case. I mean, I'd bring my guitar case, but I wouldn't leave it open. And um, I just practice, but then I started leaving it open, getting money for it. It's pretty sweet, and it's a uh, it's a really fun way to connect with people. Sometimes uh, people will, like stop with you, and if they know the words to the song you're playing, sing along with you. And it's it's a really fun way to get out of the house because some days you know you can feel trapped there, and I'll just be like, oh, I'll just go up on Court Street, play some music, and I figure it's never too much of a bad thing. Just adding some music to the airwaves on the main street. Some people appreciate that. 
I doubt that everybody appreciates it. Uh, yeah, there was this one elderly couple who, um, they basically just st stopped with me and like asked me a lot about myself. I think they were just in town visiting and they were looking for a place to go. And uh, they just hung out with me for a bit and I explained that I'm in college and that I just do this kind of as fun and a way to earn a little spending money. And uh, they gave me like $40. I guess they just like the cut of my jib and that was pretty, pretty awesome. And like when that happens, it makes it really doing this like, there's a lot of luck involved doing this and you never know what you're gonna get. Some days you'll get nothing. But when stuff like that happens, it's like, yeah, I could definitely do this for, I could do this for a while, I could do this for hours on end, just hanging out here and getting to meet people and express myself. It's, it's one of the, it's, it's pretty healthy, I really enjoy it. What about your hands, your fingers? Uh, not so much. My hands are a little messed up, but they, they hurt a little bit right now, but I'm going to keep carrying on because a good cause. I just seen a face I can't forget. 